Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Hello, Charan. Welcome to today's Periscope. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Barbie. Hello, Shabooz. Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we are going to be doing a little ceremony together. Thank you for all the hearts thus far. And we're also going to be, as normal, um, talking about our daily position. So I thought since you know, we are keeping it a little more on the spiritual side today with um, with our full moon ritual. We are going to actually turn up the heat with the position of the day. So this is totally titil tit titillating. Blocking you. Hello, my love, Yuri. Hello, Imani. Welcome back. And that is our position for today. So in this position, you know, there is a lot of um, lover's gaze happening. The man's legs are straight. And, you know, there is just a lot of embracing in this image. So it's definitely a very passionate image, um, a very passionate position. Your legs would cramp. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, my love. Um, but that is indeed our position for today. The boobs are being fondled, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of fondling of the breasts and caressing of the woman's um you know, central areas in this position. So that is our position for today, keeping it nice and spicy with that position. Now, moving into our reading. The eye contact is really good. Thank you for letting us know and acknowledging that because I agree with you. So today, you know, it's, it's my mom's birthday, so she's like, how long are you going to do videos for? <laughs> so I'm going to keep it a little bit on the shorter side so that I can spend more time with her since I'm here only for a few days. But I do want to do a little card reading and then just let you all know about the moon. Happy birthday, suegra. Oh, look at you, Yuri. Laughing out loud. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. So today's full moon is, you know, it's an a, it's a special full moon in that there is, it's the full moon right after the um right after the spring equinox. So there is a lot of energy shifting, and for me, I really feel like we are shifting into more abundance and positive energy but the first couple of days even the first week is going to be a little more on the challenging side right because there is still stuff from the last um couple of months that needs to be let go of so make sure that you do a lot a lot of releasing and set intentions Right, set intentions for the next three months. That's going to be super, super, super important. So let's get started with our reading for today. Whoa. Cars are dropping like it's hot. <laughs> okay. So the first card is kind of about where we are, and it is financial constraints. Oh, the light is doing a little weird reflection thing. Right, so 
you know, some of us have been struggling with finances over the last couple of months. And that that's this is just an acknowledgement. They're acknowledging this is where we're we've been at. This is what's kind of been going on. It's not lasting though. And here is where that's really important because we need to realize that what is current is not real. Right? How what, what our situation is today is based on yesterday or a month ago or a week ago, right? It's not it's not based on the right now. So you actually have to have a lot of faith in tomorrow, right? And and knowing that you are doing the work to really just move into a higher place of being. Now the second card is of high importance. And this is the door to spirit some weird shadows happening so I, I hope you can see it door to spirit and this is about again allowing spirit to come to to your to almost to your rescue right um to really inspire your life right opening up that channel of energy really opening up to more abundance, more possibilities. There is a lot that of light that wants to come into your life. We have to make the space for that light to come in, right? We need to get rid of the darkness that has been residing there for the past couple of months and really begin to welcome in much more positivity, much more light. And that, you know, that is going to take some some, you know, reflection, right? And the next card also of high importance is the thinking woman. So the thinking woman is talking to us again about having moments of reflection, having moments where we really analyze what's been going on and where are we moving, right? Where are we moving into? Um, where is our energy at the moment? Because what's interesting is that, you know, personal growth is, is hard. Personal growth is not an easy process. We can be feeling confused. We can be um, doubting ourselves and, and questioning things. And that is part of the journey, right? Part of the journey in self-development is challenging times but knowing that this small moment in time right now is actually worth so much more time later right it is saving us time later and this message kept coming up it came up this morning and it's coming up again but knowing that spiritual practice is one of the things that we can most invest in right it's it's high investment high return because it's actually going to save us time later on. And that's something that one of my spiritual gurus says all the time. And I totally agree with her. Hello, Ricardo. Okay. So the last card that we have is kind of once all of these times pass, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have an abundance of money, an abundance of health, more value, more success. And we really need to stay open, right? We need to stay open to the guidance that is coming to us, um, especially from feminine energy, right? So, you know, obviously I'm giving you all guidance right now, but be open to other guidances in your life arising right whether that's you know a bank teller that gives you like a random advice or a, a friend or a family member that that gives you some type of advice advice is coming through for us so just wait 